G'day mate, welcome to Dyson Sphere with me, JD. Now, today I want to talk about the proliferator and the spray coater. Now, these might be items you may have overlooked, but actually they're going to fundamentally change the way you play the game, the way I play the game, the way everybody should probably be playing the game. So, if you'd like to hear more, by all means, click the like button. But we're going to walk through what these buildings are and how they work and move forward from there. So, first off, we're going to start the tech tree. Very, very early on, just blue sites, we access, uh, we unlock the proliferator Mark 1 uh, accelerant, spray coater, paint, whatever you want to call it, along with the spray coater building itself. Now, the spray coater building itself requires a couple of items. It's also going to require a little bit of power. Honestly, it's not the important part of this equation. The, uh, the proliferator Mark 1, followed by the Mark 2, followed by the Mark III are what's really, really important. Uh, as we saw, blue sites, blue and red, and blue, red, and yellow. So they're things you can get fairly early in, in the game. Now, the way these really work is what we can do is we can take a spray coater, uh, which actually in production hub down there, need a little bit of uh, steel, a little bit of, oh, what are they called? Excited Plasma, I think they're called, uh, circuit boards and microcrystalline components, i.e. transistors uh, and capacitors and all that sort of fun stuff. And we need to put these on a belt because what they do is actually interact with the items in the belt. Now, you can either have these so they're spraying the items as they come into the build or into the machine or on the way out, entirely up to you. And once they've been sprayed, we're going to talk about this really quickly. Once they've been sprayed, they have either have one arrow for a Mark 1 spray or two arrows for a Mark 2 spray. So let's just quickly hook whoop, hook this up and we can either bring it directly into the machine or we can drag it straight through the machine out the other side. And as you can see, it fills up very, very quickly with a spray, because that's what it's called. All right, so uh, the three different types of spray. So we have the Mark 1 spray, okay? It's going to spray 12 items now i will mention very very quickly in case somebody wants to know if you're stacking items so i.e you've got either one item on the belt or potentially a stack of up to four items on the belt they all count as one spray so if you have four items stacked up that's one spray if you have a single item on the belt that's one spray recommend stacking items before we pass them through your spray coders okay so mark one costs one coal takes half a second to craft is going to let you spray 12 items going to give you a choice because it is a choice of 12 and a half percent extra products or 25 percent speed boost and it's going to cost you 30 percent extra power doesn't matter which which option you choose the second one is going to give you 24 sprays that's twice as many sprays it does require two of the mark one sprays uh to be actually produced along with a touch of diamond and that's going to give you a extra products of either 20 percent or a speed boost of 50%. And then finally, the Mark III, which requires, again, two of the Mark IIs, plus some carbon nanotubes, which is where things get a little bit of ex a little bit expensive, is actually gonna give you 60 sprays. So it gives you a lot of extra sprays for that last level, but only a 25% extra uh, products, or 100% speed up, and the energy consumption is gonna go through the roof at 150%. So down here, I have one little machine. I have one little machine which they default when you first put them down to extra products. You can click this slider and change it across to speed. And we're going to start with extra products. I'm going to have this one run. Now, we have two items in here, okay? We have the magnets which are not sprayed yet. We are bringing along the sprayed ones slowly. And also copper. Because one item is sprayed and one item is not sprayed, we get the lowest common denominator, which is zero sprays, okay? Uh, also means we're getting zero extra products. Now we have one item that has a Mark 1 spray, one item has a Mark 2 spray. We again get the lowest common denominator being the Mark 1 spray. Also, our production rate went from 90 per minute up to 103 per minute because we're getting that 12.5% extra items. If I was to spray both items with a Mark 2, and it's something we should probably demonstrate, you can spray items with a Mark 1 to then respray them with a Mark 2. Yeah, it does mean you're using twice as much spray, but it's a good way of confirming that things are definitely being sprayed. And we empty out the buffer. We should see, there we go, we're now getting 20% extra products, and we're now doing 108 per minute. So we've got a little bit of a bonus for getting, you know, items pre-sprayed. 
We can go across the speed up version and get 50% extra speed, which means the thing flies, honestly. And, and from from an experienced player who's done a lot of uh, a lot of Factoria, which has similar items to what has just been added to Dyson Sphere, you want the extra productivity. And let me explain why. So I have three identical builds here. We're all making Accelerant Mark 1 because it's a quick, easy build. And they just need coal. So we're going to bring in coal to all three of these builds. One two and three and i have three of these traffic stops on here okay because that's going to count how many items are going into the belt per second and at the same time there's ones on the outside that can count how many are going out per second and these are all going to run at 900 so we can see we've got three here doing exactly 900 or roughly two um, they have a little bit of an averaging so you know average is out at 900 because they're counting over five seconds so it's a five second average to 900 and we can see we're getting 900 on the output that's fine and dandy but if we were to spray these three different items, how would that change things? So we're going to spray one with Mark 1, one with Mark 2, one with Mark 3. And once we filter through all the original items, we're going to see that the Mark 1 is going to go up to just over a 1,000, okay? It's, a, it's about 1,012, okay? Um, the Mark 2 is going to go up to about 1080, and the Mark 3 is going to go to 1125, Okay, because we get 25% extra bonus. Now, how does that really affect your, your, your game and your base? Well, it does mean in multiple production lines, you could get 25% extra bonus every single step along the way. So if you needed 30 matrixes, 30 universal matrixes, you've got to remember how many production lines go back to get all the way back to the start and if you get 25% extra bonus, not speed, 25% extra products every single step along the line, you're going to save a lot of products. Not only that, are you going to save a lot of machines? Because you're now going to need less machines, 25% less machines every single step of the way, to get the same amount of products out. So this is where the big saving comes in. Now, a couple of other things I do want to mention is the accelerant. Uh, as we can see, first one is half a second, requires one coal. Uh, the second one is one second and requires two of the Mark 1s. So it takes twice as long and requires two of the originals, which means that's a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, That's going to be very, very important. You can actually build this feeding coal and then directly machine to machine. And then in the second one, just feed in diamonds as well. Diamonds, you got to remember, uh, can be made from energy graphite. Diamond, energy graphite, energy graphite comes from coal as well. So to get a Mark II proliferator very, very early in the game, you'd need two bits of coal for the proliferation Mark I. Then you'd need another two bits of coal to make an energy graphite. And then you could turn that straight into a diamond. So for this, the proliferator Mark I, you need four bits of coal. Okay, that's great. Now, if you spray all four bits of coal before they go through all their steps, with let's go with the proliferator mark two that means every single time you spray four of them you're gonna get 20 percent extra bonus well every single time you spray five of them you're gonna get 20 percent extra bonus so you're gonna get a sixth one for free which means you can start spraying your sprayed sprayed items yep also proliferator mark three again it's a one-to-one -one ratio so we need two of the mark two they take one second we also need some nanotubes a little bit more awkward to make nanotubes, but that's besides the point. Uh, and yes, we can make this in a nice one-to-one -one ratio. Or, like I said, you can spray every single item along the way. We can also, and this is a perfect example right here, I actually have some that are pre-sprayed, which means I actually get, once they put into here, I get extra sprays, okay? So, because the proliferator mark three has been sprayed with well some of these have been sprayed with mark two some have been spray, sprayed with mark three i'm gonna get extra sprays for nothing because i sprayed the accelerant itself or the, the proliferator itself sorry it, it was called accelerant uh if, if anybody's played prior to this update they know it was in the tech tree as accelerant mark one two and three is coming soon and it's finally been released uh, at the same time there's gonna be a very very important one you can actually have them transported tower to tower after they've been sprayed. So I could spray my coal as I mine it and then ship it over here. 
pre-sprayed. To then run it through this build, spray it again before it leaves into a new tower, and then spray it the next step, and the next step, and the next step, getting me a 25% bonus every single step of the way. Which, like I said, really, really adds up. You know, 25, 20, or 12 and a half extra bonus is going to seriously change the way you're going to play the game. Anyway, that's where I'm going to be leaving this particular video. The proliferator, the uh, spray coder, very, very interesting buildings. Really, really going to change the way you and I play Dyson Sphere. Uh, if you like this video, you'd like to see more tips and tricks like this, by all means, there is a playlist down in the description, which you can click on. Covers everything from how to make a sphere to how to launch rockets to, well... 15 tips and tricks for those that are new or those that are a little bit more experienced in Dyson Sphere. Covers all those sorts of things. At the same time, I do have a Let's Play we're currently uh, playing through where I'm sharing all sorts of blueprints. I'm actually going to follow up video coming out real soon where I'm actually going to be sharing a blueprint, late game blueprint for proliferators and how to make the Mark III very, very quickly and spray every single step of the process. Anyway, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Right, bye.